Have a good one. Sorry about the no music there for a bit. Um, I didn't realize it was just my mic on. I don't remember what I said, or if I said anything. Well, it was just me sitting by myself with my mic on. And then I went to go grab water. Well, whatever. What's done is done. Um, Uh, we should probably... I want to find this cave that's near here. Oh, it's right here. I want to see if there's anything we can get. To improve our arsenal before we move into the next part of the game. on like everything. wearing um some shoes today and honestly it's kind of making the pedaling harder i don't know why necessarily shoes would make pedaling harder but it is so i guess that's kind of a good thing right if it's harder or you know if i'm working harder that means really actively targeting something, right? So... I saw those earlier, but I was like, well, they have those probably there for a reason. And then I was like, what reason would that be exactly, though? <laughs> so I was like, maybe I should... Maybe I should just cut this down.
thought it was over by this, but... Oh, there it is. Whoa, Lara's floating. Whew. Yeah, I can feel it in my, uh... Like the top of my thigh. A lot more than usual. So I must be working that muscle there a little bit more than I have been in the past. I don't know why just switching to shoes makes that difference, but... I'm not going to complain. Well, maybe I will, actually. Because this is already pretty tiring. I can already feel it a lot earlier than I usually can. There's one. Does it show maybe where the challenge started instead of where you might find? Because I think the first bullseye thing I thought I shot was over there. So maybe it doesn't show you on the map where the rest of the challenge marks are. But maybe, maybe it just shows you where you started the challenge in the first place. over here I haven't been over here oh yeah we have a bunch of coins there's one Do we think the last rabbit is going to be up here as well? I saw something. Oh. Rebreather. Okay. Can't go that way yet. I saw this post on Twitter and it was like game devs when they put something behind a waterfall and then the response is like oh wow very original good job you put a thing behind a waterfall and then <laughs> it's like game devs when they don't put something behind a waterfall and it's like how dare you how dare you betray my trust Zero out of ten, worst game ever made. So it's like, people are aware that it's very cliche to have. Wait, what? Did you see that?
Those spots are lighting up. Oh. Huh. Um, but anyway, you know, clearly it's very hard to impress. But I think everybody, every gamer secretly, uh-oh. Or not so secretly, pretty much always wants there to be <laughs> something behind waterfalls, I guess is the main point I'm getting at. I'd say it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation, but like, nah, it's not really. Just like, always put something in the, uh, behind at least one waterfall. Because in the end, yeah, a lot of gamers think it's cliche. But also, the immense disappointment of finding a waterfall that doesn't have something behind it, you know, is just a huge bummer. <laughs> so, I think overall it's better to just have something there. Even though it might seem like you get pushback for it. So my glasses are fogging up something fierce. I've said this before, I need a bigger fan, but also it's maybe because my legs are working, or should I say my limbs, <laughs> my legs are working harder, perhaps, I'm like already out of breath. And I'm a lot sweatier than I normally would be at this point. Actually, no, that's not true. Hello. I think I get pretty sweaty pretty fast. But something is up with today and this bike session. I think it's the shoes being here, perhaps. Who friggin' knows, right? I just leave back down. Survival cash. Where are you at? Where is There it is. Where's the last rabbit?
Aurora, the physician. That's it. Aurora, the physician. Friend and I have a thing going where every day we gotta send a picture of us doing our workout so as to motivate each other. I'm not gonna do the flex muscle thing. Just a nice little selfie. Workout time. Tesh was long and hard. Infirmity, illness, and injury abounded. Aurora was a believer trained in the ways of Hippocrates and the great world <sighs> healers. It is because of her that so many survive the journey to Katesh. It is her legacy that knowledge of healing continues to be passed down among believers. Good job, Aurora. Level six, great. Oh yeah. I was gonna check what the credits mean. Cause on the main menu there's a store. And it says like some some credits used or whatever. How many credits do you have? And I was like, oh this must be where I spend my credits. Oh well, I'll do that at the beginning of the stream. And then I immediately forgot. <laughs> immediately. Zero hesitation. Yeah, it must be where you start the challenge that it shows you. And then once you complete the challenge, then it then it goes blank. There's an optional tomb by this fucking bear. And the crypt I couldn't get to without the rebreather. Okay, let's go back to the camp, get all these fucking documents and stuff. We've got time. Ally nearby. Optional mission. Where? Aha. You. You're the one that came with Jacob. Yeah. I have something to ask of you. Go for it. What can I help you with? Give me stuff. Jacob told me you've got a knack for exploring. I do. There are more old places, tombs, all around the valley. 
You may have seen the wards placed there to frighten children. It's not superstition. Those places are dangerous, but they also hold relics of our former glory. Not just trinkets, but knowledge. I believe we need that wisdom now more than ever. A decade ago, I'd have gone myself, but now I could use your skills. Sure. The scouts tell me you've already been inside one of the old tombs. Would you share what you've learned with us? Yeah. Of course. They belong to your people. Yeah, Lara. They don't have much, but I have these old coins. If gold has value to you, I can give you some for every secret you find. Holy fuck! 50 coins! coins per challenge tomb? Well, now I definitely gotta do it. Greetings. Greetings. That is some damn intense music. Must be up here. Okay, change of plan. We're gonna go get the grenade launcher from the store. Because we have enough for it now, for sure we do. I forgot to turn on the lights. Sorry about that. These are some long loading screens. I guess because I'm changing regions. <laughs> That's probably why. Is he even gonna be here anymore? Oh, he is. Where is it? Yeah.
know why biking with shoes on is so much harder. Like, I have zero idea, but honestly, I was like trying to figure out how to make this more difficult for myself already. <clears throat> Cause like, after a while, an hour has not become, I wouldn't say it's become a cakewalk. I still am exerting myself clearly from how much sweat I leave everywhere. But it was like, man, like my legs are not tired after the workout at all. I don't even know if I'm improving my leg strength. Hello there. But now I can tell already that my legs are gonna fucking hate me after this is done. We gotta level up so I can get the uh, grenade crafting perk. This isn't even anything. It's just coins. I mean, I'm grateful for the coins, for sure. But, just coins? Oh, a, mon a, mo a monolith! A monument! Oh, monolith! Now I see. It speaks of something hidden. Coin caches! That's what I'd like to fucking see. Okay. You'll never find a finer meat than boar. As black as the soil and twice as rich, but hunting the damned things is an unpleasant task, to say the least. Now that the sun is up, <sighs> we will hunt as a pack, working together to take down a boar. We will strike from the hunting blinds around the valley, for we can spot the boar in the dense undergrowth without being seen. And you do not want to be seen. At least it's not raining. None of you, not even I, want to deal with that cursed razorback. Razorback. That's the second time that's been mentioned. I'm guessing it's an exotic boar. Because in the boar area... Another difficult winter for my people. There are more deaths and births now. And as the seasons pass, the young ones are becoming restless. <laughs> I see them looking to the sky when the rare plane passes overhead. Wistful. Wondering. Longing. I know they are still deeply committed to the cause. But I also sense a change coming. An end to our way of life is on the horizon. The most recent invaders are fading from memory. But as the technology of men advances, more are bound to find our valley again. And we are bound with the fate of this place. For better or worse. Ready for this. We knew. Um Yeah, in the area where there were boars. Damn it. Um I thought that yellow. Oh, it's feathers. So it was just coincidence that I found that lady there who needed a mission done. Uh, anyway, the area where the boar I hunted were, uh, it said exotic animal nearby, so. Tonight the armies of the Mongol horde camp at the edge of the valley ready to strike at the heart of Gatesh. We have the alchemist's fire at ready to set the invaders alight. Every man and woman who can wield a weapon will fight. We will do all we can to support the Athanatoi, but I have never seen bloodshed. None of us mere citizens have. I have never taken a life, and now that I must, I fear for my resolve. Honestly, fair. I think that would be the hardest part for me, if I were in a life or death situation, would be the idea that somehow since I'm in a life or death situation, 
It's okay for me to kill somebody else. I made a mistake today. One that threatens to lead to more mistakes. I spent time alone with Alia. Something I have avoided until now. She reminds me of my beloved Sophia. Whom I thought I'd long forgotten. And it opens my heart like a wound. She clouds my judgment. Even when she is not present. <laughs> I sound like a giddy child. And those days are far behind me. I must bury these old feelings deep and stay apart from my people for a time. Oh boy. That's rough, dude. I might keep repeating this, but I'm honestly shocked at the difference in difficulty. You know what? My legs were feeling kind of tired today. So maybe that's part of it? Like, maybe it's not as bad as I think. It just feels worse because my legs were already tired. That's gotta be it, right? This isn't going to lead to them, is it? It's not. How do I get to that? Do I have to go in this optional tomb? That means I have to fight the bear. I don't want to have to fight the bear. I'm going to friggin' die. And we're sticking with the... push-ups and sit-ups right away than rather, rather than at the end. Um... Just so you know. Where is the last diving place? I thought it'd be somewhere around here. Come on. Darn. The optional tombs are what make that lady give us money. Then we should definitely try to get to this optional tomb over here. Okay. Uh. Because I think the optional tomb is in where the bear is. Because of all this iconography.
love how I said we were gonna start today's stream doing the fight. And now I've done everything but the fight. Afraid of that. The second I saw the water, I was like, fuck. We're gonna need the rebreather for this, aren't we? Okay, so this. So how do I get up, though? Because there was this was blocked off. Can I blow that up, maybe? My strap came loose. Hold on. Pause the timer. Just kidding, it pauses by itself. I don't think we can go that way for now. I'm gonna give up on leveling up before the fight. We'll level up once the fight starts and we fight some things, guys, people and things and stuff. So for the time being, we're just gonna do, do, go do the fight. Oh, there was a mural I missed there? We can get that too. Inside the wall, like here, yeah. The followers of the prophet fled, but they were attacked in Syria. Okay, let's do it. Hopefully, the intense action will take my mind off of how sore I am right now. Not sore. Hmm. Seems to be a map of some sort, but I can't. Quite a level the seven? Rest. I thought I was ahead of the curve by having fucking level six. Oh, so close An to a level up. Coin with one side cut and shaped into a crude claw tool, perhaps to remove nails. Oh, interesting. For some reason, when I heard to remove nails, I thought of fingernails. I was like, that looks like it would fucking hurt if you're removing your fingernails with that. But no. Regular nails. Hello. 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 Jacob, 
Helicopters are headed your way. Get here as fast as you can. It wasn't giving me the option to run. Uh, I'm guessing I'm not gonna make it in time for to save. Where is the divine source? Tell me! Stop! Don't hurt anyone else! Where Do is anything! Wait! Wait! There's a map. The Atlas. It will show you the way. Okay. Tell me about this Atlas. Hey. <laughs> Oh shit. I can't fucking see. Oh. I know what to do with you. nothing to show for your efforts. Perhaps she'll succeed where you're failing. I will not fail. Trinity will step in if you do. And you know what that means? I'm expendable. They have no interest in my survival. I need the power of the source. <coughs> and you will have it. Don't lose faith, Anna. This is God's will. Our success is inevitable. Mm. Please, just find it. My time is running out. <sighs> Don't care. you have forced me to commit they must have a purpose worst only you can show me the way grant me strength to continue for her for you for trinity please show me the way Huh. 
Huh. Excuse me. Stay with me. Stay with me. I'm sorry. Your people don't deserve this. It is our chosen path. Our duty. It's never been easy. I understand what it's like to lose people. Trinity won't stop, will they? I doubt it. They have many resources. And the Atlas? It's an ancient map to the old city. The Trinity won't find it at that tower. Many of my people live in those ruins. They won't be prepared for what's coming. I can help them, Jacob. Will you do this for us? Or for that which you seek? Right now, they're one and the same. I'll be back with reinforcements after I've tended to the wounded. That fight did not last very long. Yes. What is it? We're in bad shape, Jacob. The attack left us in shambles, and we have no one to send to the Acropolis. I know. I'll see to the wounded here. We have to get them to someplace safe. When that's done, we'll gather anyone still able to fight. Sophia will hold them off until we can arrive. I hope to God you're right. We'll send a runner when we're ready. Oh, I thought I was going to get a side quest. I need to get still can't see straight. It has been months since the snows of the mountain buried the heart of Katesh. We sent men to search for survivors or food, but none have returned. Sounds drift up from the glaciers, but if people still lived entombed inside, I do not know. It could be the shifting ice, but I will be the first to admit, it sounds like the voices of men. Perhaps the ghosts of the Prophet's warriors still patrol the frozen streets. We will send no more of our people inside. We have to accept that the Prophet and the city are lost to us. And that we are now on our own. Everything's blurry. Oh, jeez. I'm crying, but God, it hurts. I'll try and Can I help? Them. You already have. If it wasn't for you, more of them would be dead. You look a little gray. Are you hurt? I How do I get over there? Never mind, I think I found it. Never mind. Again. Never mind, part two.
Not sure what those barricades are. They won't let me pass them. But it also doesn't say you need insert later item here when I go th near them. So it's like, maybe I just have to come at it from a different direction. I'm not sure. Maybe the pedals feel easier to push with the shoes, so I'm going faster on average. Maybe that's what it is. Do we think I'll need the rebreather? Maybe not. We're in the tomb, I think. way to get across. Perhaps I could use a rope. Yeah, maybe. <sighs> hmm. Some kind of burial chamber. Oh, yeah, sure is. Jeez. made of silver certainly meant to be decorative but someone's been using it to carry grain Oh, wow. We're fighting a hell of a current here. Right at the very end of my stream, I die. Right at the very end. Why? Oh my god, like. Oh my god. No, it's definitely harder with the shoes on. I couldn't tell you why, but my legs feel like jello. Usually they're not this tired after. Fuck. 
so wobbly on my feet. <sighs> like, this is way harder than it has any right to be. Of course, now I've gotten used to how difficult it was. But, even still, my legs are still jello once I get off the bike. This is going to be interesting going forward. I give up for now. I'm way too friggin' tired. Okay, one more try. My legs are gonna protest. Maybe I might have to take another rest day tomorrow. Sheesh. Or no, I definitely will. No, I won't. I don't have to. But I might. Ten push-ups, ten sit-ups, and then I'm ending stream. That's it. I give up. I give up for real this time. Fuck, and now I'm doing push-ups at the end, which I just said I didn't want to do. But where's the checkpoint gonna take us? It'll just take us to here, right? This is exactly what I wanted to avoid. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. You gotta be kidding me. Show. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Um. Thank you so much for watching. Oh my God, my legs feel like lighter than air right now. Um. Until next time. Have a good one.